ability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Hello, and welcome to our final senior show. I'm Josh. And I'm still Sergio. We've got a great show for you guys today. Man, I just love watching TV and Netflix. My favorite show is The Office. The Office is a classic. Let's take a peek at what shows GRHS can recognize in Andrew Perez's piece on TV show theme songs. Hi, my name is Andrew Perez, and I'm a senior at GRHS. I'm here today to play TV theme songs to students after a short interview. Each student will be given songs from popular, classic, and modern shows. The purpose is to see how much students watch and their knowledge of television. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. SpongeBob. My favorite TV show right now would be Black Mirror. Big Bang Theory. funny show. I think Black Mirror is so good because it takes a logical extreme that people make today and they take it to the near future of that logical extreme. Like the first episode of, of season three take, um, takes place in like a more social media aspect world in which the world is run by your social media status. So I, I would highly recommend it. It's funny. I don't know. It's also kind of scientific. But it's my room. Usually in, in my room on uh, on Netflix. In my living room. All day, every day. Like rarely ever, but on Saturdays. Paper boy, full house. I knew it like the first two seconds. Oh, this is the um the Jensen's, right? It's not. No. Oh, this is um. I I recognize it, but I don't know what 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 it's from. Pink Panther. I have, I have no idea, so it's CSI. This is an old TV show? Twilight Zone. Never heard of it, to be honest. Okay, now how about this show? It's very old. It sounds old, at least. I'll say, it. Hey, I'm gonna guess it has Lacey in it. Dexter Laboratory. Yeah. I remember being like a super creepy show. Ooh. 
Are you Game of Thrones or some schnaz? Yep, I knew it. I knew it right away. Watch the show. Definitely got that Western vibe. It's a Southern show. I have no idea. Breaking Bad. I've never seen Breaking Bad. What show is that? Modern Family. After interviewing these students, the outcomes were expected and showed that GRHS students know their shows, whether it's popular, classic, or modern. That Friends theme song brings back some great memories. Yeah, and I hope to make some memories this summer. Are you going anywhere? Yeah, my family and I are going to Hawaii. Oh, cool. We hope everyone has a safe and fun summer break. Sergi. I'm not a rapper, but I do love to tweet. I think I know a guy who likes to do both. Let's take a look at Liam Horton's piece on deciphering real or fake Kanye West tweets. Hi, I'm Liam Horton, and I'm a junior here at Glen Rock High School, and today I'm going to be asking people if they can tell the difference between real and fake Kanye West tweets. Kanye is known for some pretty wild and outlandish tweets, so I think it'll be pretty interesting and funny to see how students react and whether they can tell the difference between real and fake Kanye tweets. This next album is going to be the greatest musical masterpiece since my last album. True. Correct. The life of Pablo already making waves. Also real. False. McDonald's is my favorite brand. I can see him as McDonald's man, that's real. Yeah, that is real. I miss the old Kanye. True. False. This next album is going to be the greatest musical masterpiece since my last album. Yeah, he, yeah, that's true. That's true. Right again. Repping Shy Town since day one. True. Incorrect again. Kim's the biggest icon of our generation. Real. False. Migos killing the game. Hashtag moguls. That's that's a tweet. That's gotta be a tweet. No, nah, it's fake. I miss the old Kanye. That, that sounds like that's real. That's nah, that's actually <laughs> fake. Me and Kim, the biggest power couple since the Kennedys. Real. Fake. <laughs> real talk. Obama's a Don. Hashtag POTUS. That's, that's real. Fake. <laughs> I'm the greatest of all time. Real? Nah, that's fake. Migos killing the game. Hashtag moguls. He didn't write that. Yeah, no, he didn't write it. You're right. I think the fact that students had a lot of trouble differentiating between real and fake Kanye tweets shows that he tweets some pretty wild and crazy stuff. While it was interesting to see that many students had trouble guessing between the real and fake tweets, it was also kind of unsurprising because I knew that some of the stuff that Kanye says is a little bit crazy and a little bit out there. I'm going to let you finish, but Donald Trump has the best Twitter handle of all time. <laughs> Hey Serge, I heard you won a scholarship for Rec Soccer in this year's awards assembly. Congrats! Thanks Josh, and congrats to all the winners from the recent assembly. Serge, I really miss high school sports. Did you know I never missed a single practice in my entire career? Oh really? I've never had an injury. Sam and Evan went around asking seniors about what they have and haven't done in their high school athletic careers. We went around in GRHS and played Never Have I Ever with senior athletes. Never have I ever missed a practice. Uh, I've missed multiple practices for mostly like college stuff, but I've mi definitely missed a lot of practices. Uh, never have I ever uh, faked an injury for uh, like any sporting event. Probably I have during practice wrestling uh, freshman year. It was, the practices were really tough, you know, mostly running. You know, I was a freshman, didn't want to do that much, so I uh, just wanted to get out of it. 
Never have I ever dropped out of a cross country race. Um, well, I never have, but I was very close to uh, my sophomore season, 2015, at the Passaic Coaches uh, Invitational. Um, it was about 95 degrees, and I ran my worst 5K time of the season, I ran 27.59, um, which usually I was running somewhere in the low 20s, 19-ish. So, no, I've never dropped out of a race, but I don't really plan to either. Uh, never have I ever received a punishment from my coach. Well, in August during football practice, we all, the whole team received a punishment because some bad eggs were taking part in some illegal substances. And so we all got punished for that and we had to run a lot. Not fun. Uh, never have I ever uh, gotten into a fight with an opposing player. I have. Uh, during football season, it was Pompton Leagues. Uh, the tensions are always high with them in JV and varsity. And uh, this one kid was, you know, bothering me a little bit. So I started hitting him in the face a few times. He got a little mad at that, but, you know, it happens. Uh, never have I ever gotten into an altercation with a teammate. Um, I'm actually guilty of that. My, also my sophomore season, uh, we were running at the sophomore championships meet and one of my teammates pushed me off the track completely by accident, so we think. Um, but he got disqualified and then I was quite upset about that because I had the faster time in the race. Never have I ever started a fight with a teammate or an opposing player. Well, freshman year, when we were during a football game against Hawthorne, my friend Matt Lascalzo was getting into fights with the other team, so I kind of started a fight with him about starting fights with the other team, and it was not pretty. Uh, never have I ever had a prank pulled on me in track. Um, that one's not true, I have. Um, the other day, so I was in the bathroom and one of the kids turned the lights off on me, so. This is Liam Capello, class of 2017. I played football and golf. Thank you. I'm Zach Riley, class of 2017. Uh, I played wrestling freshman year, uh, football for two years, and I'm a four-year uh, baseball player. My name is Matt Alport, class of 2017, and I ran track and cross country for four years. Come to think of it, I may have missed a few days here and there. Speaking of missing days, the physics classes just got back from their annual Six Flags trip. I am super jealous. I love roller coasters. One thing I'm really going to miss next year are the caring and devoted the teachers cool. here at the high school. Yeah. One teacher that embodies those values is Miss Rusin. Let's take a look at her very own Lizzie Burgoyne's profile on Miss Rusin. In a recent poll, Glenrock High School is ranked high in the state of New Jersey for participation in the art program, with 80% of the student body participating in classes in the fine arts or in music. This shows that the students have a keen interest in the art program. In an effort to understand this amazing staff, I interviewed veteran sculpture teacher Ms. Rusin about her career as an artist and an art teacher. Who inspired me to become an artist? I guess my mom did. She was an engineer and she was always really creative. So a lot of what I grew up doing was combining science and art. So I was, I was really inspired by her. Still am. I learned to do the wheel about 15 years ago. And that was just fundamental learning. Like I didn't really start doing it until like later more seriously and for that I took a lot of classes in Jersey City from a guy named Frank who really taught me to improve my wheel skills a lot but he also taught me a lot about the science of ceramics so he's been really fundamental in growing my skills and at me getting better. Yeah I started in Glenrock in I guess 2009-2010 so this is my eighth year here which I can't really believe but yeah, it's been good. It's been a lot of fun. 
Well, my entire life, everybody told me I was going to be an art teacher. And I went to school to become an actress, and I realized I hated that. And then I did a lot of other things. I worked for a film company and, you know, sort of just tried a bunch of different things and then realized that this is what I wanted to do. So I went back to school at Pratt and got my teaching certificate, and then I came here to be a student teacher. And that was that. And then here since. <laughs> I try and give a lot of flexibility in the projects that they can choose. I like parameters too. I like to have some requirements because I think that parameters are good. But I also like to encourage my students to do what makes them happy and what they want because I think it's really important that you like what you're making. So I know a lot of times if you just tell students like, okay, everybody's gonna make this, a lot of students don't like making that one thing. They're, they're more encouraged when they get to make something that they want to make. And then I try and give as much visual encouragement as possible too. Like looking at Pinterest, and I have a Pinterest board, so I tell students that they're allowed to follow me on that. I like any students who are willing to try new things. I like students who are really into learning new things too. So students that are dedicated to improving, and take the time to work on their skills and that want me to show them new things. I am inspired by students who try things a different way because a lot of times that creates an atmosphere of creativity and so I'm inspired to make new things and other students are inspired to make new things. So we can all learn from each other a little bit and I like that when students take risks. As a two-year sculpture student, I can personally attest to the fact that using the wheel is a hard skill to acquire. I'd like to give a special thank you to Ms. Rusin and to all the other art teachers who provide a fun and inspiring environment that encourages students of all skill levels to participate. Wow, Ms. Rusin really must love what she does. Teachers have a huge influence on the students. Miss Colorado will unfortunately be leaving us this year due to retirement after many years of her dedication in teaching here at GRHS. We all wish her a happy retirement. Well, that about does it here. Sergio and I want to thank everyone for staying with us throughout our season. It's been a pleasure, and for the final time, this has been Under the Rock, signing, signing off. off.